All right, so last time where we left off, we changed a few of the nodes around. I think I have more energy. Um, I put one human worker on here. It's not great. It's like a three hour and a half thing. So I do need to get a goblin eventually. And I'll put another worker on here once we get another goblin. And um, yeah, these are going off so far. I realized while we were looking through it in the last video that I didn't have a worker going off on the farm. And I should probably fix that, but I don't have anyone. All I do have someone who's on Old Wisdom Tree. But speaking of Old Wisdom Tree, I don't know how important the shady tree force is, like moss tree timber, moss tree sap, and plank. Let me just look it up. It's not even insta sell. It's, uh, yeah, it's not really worth. I mean, this is the sap of this full cell, but don't think the overall node is great. Um, what else is there? I can collect strawberries, I believe. High quality strawberries. Let me see. What do I have to connect here? How much is this one? I think this is probably like a five CP investment. Let's go head back to Velia and then get some energy. Because I think the next thing I'm going to do is buy or get another worker. Hopefully it's not terrible. <laughs> In terms of Port Aferia, I'm probably, if I could just snipe one from the worker exchange, then I'll do that. But Otherwise, I can't be bothered to roll in the ferry just for that. So let's go to Velia. Let's buy some energy there, and then we'll head off the tariff. But yeah, slowly but surely, we are fixing up our worker empire. We have 67 workers right now, four left in skilled, and then everything else is artisan and professional. Got to get rid of those, and then let's see. I wish it showed you like which ones weren't working. And once you get all our skilled ones to professional, at very minimum. We can start slowly one at a time, either uh, doing the advancement test and hopefully they hit artisan so I don't have to roll one, <laughs> or yeah, just keep rolling. That's what I think I'm going to do with my energy for the next two weeks while I have a comma buff up, and then just grind while it's regening. Okay, so... Yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully expanding our worker empire. It'll be great. I removed some CP into the Grunnel factory just because that one is taking up at least 15 CP. And that's a lot, actually, now that I think of it. I should do more like AFK cooking and just get my contribution higher. Like 320. 320 is a lot, but... I would like it to be up to like 350. I think 350 is usually the point where things start to get stupid tedious. Let's see, what other nodes do I have? Um. 
grapes are important. I think I still have that going. 22,000 grapes. What worker do I have on here? Professional human. Okay. I think olives are important. I just don't really know what kind of cooking they do. And all I do when I cook is mostly make beer or the chicken meat thing. Chicken grilled hot steaming bird. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see. Overall, yeah, I think we just need one in tariff and then we have seven contribution to do with so if you don't know how to buy energy I'm about to show you how take this buy high quality wine this really isn't even a secret either you just go million so you see the energy up here going up by three every time spent like seven and a half million on energy. It's not really cost effective. It's more just, I didn't want to wait for the cooldown. Do I have any energy potions? I do have energy potions. Mine? Uh, we won't use any yet, just in case I do get like an artisan or something at tariff early on. Hold on, let me see. How much money do I have in tariff before I leave? We have 400k. Well, that's enough to get a new worker. I think artisans are 90. So hopefully 250 energy to 300 is enough to get me a professional worker or higher. That would be excellent, but with my RNG, it's not been great. But yeah, I should buy some artisans and stuff later let me see is there any bosses coming up soon no bosses there are field bosses in window but that could be within the next six hours the next actual boss on timer is arca in another two hours All this money I'm spending on energy, I feel like hopefully it'll be worth it and it'll pay off eventually. But once I have like all artisans, everything goes up pretty quickly and just get lots of money. While I'm here, are there any in like sand green that are important to get? Copper is good. Teff is kind of not great. Uh, I 
don't know. Copper seems pretty important, but I just have so much of it. I don't think I'd ever be able to finish processing. It would actually take me about a month of straight processing to get rid of all my copper, because I'm pretty sure I have a couple hundred thousand. And then on top of everything else, I have to process, cook, and all that stuff. So not really worth it at this time. Where, okay, so if I remember correctly, the worker dude is over here. All right, let's see, what is tariff? I am not going for blues. What? All right, anything professional or higher is good. We did it. can even hire more of them too. Um, so an Alta farm, tariff. Cotton is actually worth a lot right now for some reason. I don't know why, but it's like, you could probably sell it for max price. So I should invest in, I'm trying to find out. I do have seven CP left over, so. Let me see if I can get another. Cinnamon, is that worth it? Let me just check. I don't think cinnamon is worth much. Yeah, it's not really worth much and it won't sell either. Oof. Cotton should be sold out. It's not sold out, but it will insta-sell. All right, let's look for another worker here. Why game? Is my RNG really that? Artisan, professional, naive worker. Oh god, I actually got it. <laughs> Gonna have to pop one of these. Game, sell me like an artisan. So I'm not gonna invest in another cotton one until I can actually get it. So with seven points left over, I don't know what I want actually. Maybe. Knock ore is pretty important, right? Weenie cabin. Umbrella mushroom. <sighs> what do you use this for? I really do feel like I should be connecting something and not wasting 7 CP. 
there anything good in Valencia that I should actually pick up? Do people still grind Pilaku? I don't think so. Um, okay, so let me see. If I connected that one, dude, I can't even see the node. How do you, oh, okay. That would be two points for this one. Probably not worth bringing it to there. Velia is an important one, so all my nodes are already locked up anyway. Yeah, I really think the next choice for me would be the fishing yard over here. I don't think Kama Sylvia nodes are really worth it, though, to be honest. Like, all I collect in Grana is knock ore and some random mushrooms. <laughs> if I were to invest in anything, an old wisdom tree, I don't know what I would want. I guess uh, we could invest in these three and then let me do this on another character so because I, I need energy and then next time we'll go to like Trent or something and set up all that stuff So, to connect the loopy tree or long leaf tree forest, you need all of these. It's two, four, five, six. Oh, God. I need trend workers. I thought towns didn't need to be invested in. I mean, does this not count as. I think over here is something you get. You need 35 energy. Let me just look this up real quick before I do something dumb. Um. Okay. So we are. Okay, it's Rua Tree Stub. So this one is an excavation node, and I should do that now. Are the event energy pots and the ones you buy on the same cooldown? Let me go check after. Because I know you can buy energy, but I've like never done... Oh, they are all sold out. 2 million for 50 energy. Sold out. Okay, so we got another five minutes. Um, the event ended over there with the Serbianka thingies. So let me see. How much would this cost? One. I think another, like, four to get this excavation node. So, like, one, two, 
three and then to invest in that. So let's uh let's go down there. Thing that gives me more energy right now. Nope. Dude, node management is difficult now that I think of it. I have one contribution left, but the next uh, like eight I get. Probably gonna do it. I can't take out any of my farms. I have C uh, 60 CP just locked in farms. But I just feel like they're so important. If I were to take out anything though, it would probably... Professional giant, all of these are working. Ugh, firing one of them. Yeah, I probably won't use giants. It's like, giants are just so bad. Okay, so three, two, I can sell this one contribution uh, why isn't this even maxed up let's, let's level that one up So we have three. Let me see. Is there. How much money do I have in Heidel? We're gonna re. or like roll again, so we probably need quite a bit. Look at those people with like infinite icons. Baller. I have two million silver. What have I resorted to? Taking money out of like byproducts. But overall, I'm being really cautious of how I spend my money. I do want to get an ogre ring upgrade at some point, so like certain upgrades are just restricted to wherever my money is. Eight hundred K, that's like twenty four energy. <laughs> oh god. What a time to be alive. Actually, no, I'm gonna hold on to this money because I'm gonna probably need it. So, you guys are about to witness some um, seizure warning.
I know you guys don't see this often, people spending money on energy, but I need it. Hopefully this is only like a one-time thing and I never have to do it again once I get my workers all set and done. Alright, so this should be enough energy to get the excavation node, like, unlocked, but I don't have it. Um, like, I don't have enough to actually invest anything into it, so... Yeah. It's my horse. Alright, so we're still going down to Rua Tree Stub because I want to get the node. I should probably just cook for the next like 20 hours and then I'll have enough contribution to get a few more good nodes. So 70 or 80 workers is where I want to be at in the end right now. And I'll invest my CP properly. Weren't we? We were just down there too. So we're going back. Need more energy, even have a comma blessing running right now. It's not enough. Um, okay, so let me see. Once we get to the Bree Tree Ruin thing, I'm just gonna follow the auto path. I don't actually know how to get there outside of that. I'll probably find out, but auto path it is. Maybe we can find a flying wagon again. Is it there? Flying wagon? It is not there right now. I still have the money on me, right? Just in case we do get a good worker. That's great. Then we're going to... Trent for sure, even if it means I have to get another blue worker, I do need to see their sap. I think it is a 5 CP for that. That's the only place to get it unless you actively want to go um, gathering for it, which I don't. going to be honest it's been so long since I've been down to this area why is the node man who are you connection is no what the hell? or do I actually have to have this connected well we're not getting it today guys Okay, well, that gives me more energy to just roll in Trent or something. I think it just gives Trace of Forest, which is used for costumes and some other traits that I don't remember.
But anyway, 220 energy almost should get us like. So wait, hold on. Um, 100 energy is 20, 40. Get yeah, about 42 rolls. Hopefully, one of them is a professional or higher. I'd be happy. Super worth. I feel like we're gonna be in Trent for a while, actually. Is this event over? Can people still turn in their things? Oh yeah, you can. It's still going. Like the event ended, but you can still turn them in. Uh, let me see. Is there anything? No contract workers. Naive. I love getting naive workers. It makes me feel great. In terms of the actual cedar timber, I don't really care. I just want the cedar sap. And we already have a lot of cedar timber just going off from the past year. I've had this node going. Um, is there anything important that I should get? Is silk honey grass? No, silk honey grass is terrible. Don't get that. I know I just took one out, but let me see. Is there another lodging one for one CP? Okay, so let me see. Let's go to a feria. Since we have 139 energy left over anyway. No, don't fall. Uh, so for a feria, I actually do want, like, a goblin, and if I were to invest in this one, it would be professional or artisan goblins only. No exceptions, otherwise I won't take the node. But we do have three CP left over. If you have any CP left over, you're doing it wrong. You should invest in something to make money. Like... CP just sitting there is wasted, and it's literally doing you nothing, so. I remember when I first started this game, I had all the CP just sitting there, because I didn't know how to invest in nodes, how to gather workers, and all that stuff, but it's definitely something, oh my god, almost fell off there, but like, I remember when I first started, I didn't know how to, like, contract workers and all that stuff, and how to invest in nodes, how to put workers on them. But if you are planning on starting the game or you are just a new player, just remember that always use your CP in something. Having actually more than one just sitting there is not good. You could be making money with it. So... I'm doing my best to find stuff to invest everything in. And hopefully it's good. Even if you have to invest in, like, a town or something, it's probably worth it. But now that we got stuff going on, let me see, how many workers do we have right now? We have 68. While we're in a ferry, we might as well do... Uh, frigate quest. I am actually curious. I don't think since it's been reset. Uh, frigates go for 400 mil. Sailboats go for 200 mil. I've seen people pre-order sailboats for 2 billion. It's like, oof. Let's not do that. So I wouldn't be surprised if people pre-ordered a frigate for like five million. Alright, I don't remember where the worker was or the worker guy was for a feria. Let me feed my horse again.
think it was at the bottom. Yeah, the work supervisor. So I had one in lodging that was two contribution for some reason. I decided to take that one. But we can invest in lodging here. Oh god, we gotta wait a minute. Alright, while we're doing that, uh, let's go do the frigate quest. I used to have a character parked in here just to do this quest daily, but then I just realized it was a waste of my life and moved it elsewhere. How do people do this? We get Blackstones today from today's event or attendance reward. That's good. I like I like that. Take the box, dude. Here. Need to do one more. Uh, okay, so I'm not really on a strict timer for this, so let's go roll. Please give me a professional goblin. So much energy just down to drain. Jesus. Okay, game. I see how it is. Now let's go turn this quest in and then we'll wrap up for today. Could do an RBF, but it'll give me money. You guys see my luck right there? That's me not getting any professionals. I get like one every thousand energy I spend, I think. All right, so what I've been doing was collecting the frigate ones because I already have a very sailboat. So getting a frigate would be nice, but I'm not going out of my way to craft it yet. It's kind of tedious. Yep. But anyway, it's been a while. It's been a longer video than usual. I think I'm going to wrap up for today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time.